What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the GNOME 3.8 release. Now I, I used to be a huge GNOME fan. Um, you know GNOME 2 was just classic. I mean I think any of us who have been using Linux for a number of years really grew fond of GNOME 2. In fact, you know, my recent switch to Manjaro Linux using XFCE has really rehashed a lot of those kind of old GNOME 2 nostalgic feelings. Um, you know, but, you know, when GNOME Shell first hit the scene, GNOME 3, um, there was obviously a lot of really upset GNOME users. I felt as though initially that the GNOME project was kind of stepping into where technology is today. I thought they revamped uh, the UI in terms of aesthetic. I thought it looked great. Uh, I really felt as though di the direction that they were heading was really, really good. It hasn't been until the last couple of iterations that I feel as though they started kind of wandering down um, the wrong path. And, you know, GNOME 3.8 seems to be something that is veering them back onto course again. Um, you know, it was actually released on March 27th, and, you know, I feel as though that, you know, there's a huge opportunity for GNOME users to really start to feel back at home on GNOME 3.8. So some of the highlights right here off of uh, GNOME's um, website is they've got a redesigned application launching view, enhanced search, new privacy settings, they have a, a new classic mode. Um, so, you know, people, there was an announcement that GNOME panel was going away, um, but, you know, they've, they've really dumped some, some resources into a classic mode for those that don't want the, the GNOME shell experience. I think that's really, really nice. Um, I'm really excited about trying the new uh, GNOME classic mode. They've improved some animation rendering. Uh, they've got a new clock application. They've got some heavily updated settings. Um, let's see, um, a lot of bug fixes and enhancements, uh, let's see here. They've got some integration with um, Google Documents, which is kind of cool. Let's see here, a couple of screenshots. So we've got some really nice um, online account integration which is pretty cool here is one of the, some of the new search feature uh, as you can see in here for those of you who are Android users this will look familiar I think they may have borrowed this idea from from Android and uh, this is uh, basically like drawers in Android when you take you know an application drag it on top of another one it'll create a drawer um, you know that's that's kind of an Android thing. I think if you're using a touch interface, that's kind of nice. But uh, that's what it reminded me of uh, initially. And you know, uh, Documents is going to integrate with Google Docs. You know, apparently the the integration is really really good. So um, let's go to the press release. Uh, the press release doesn't have too much stuff that the uh, brief overview that we just read doesn't have. So anyway, um, I'm really excited about the new GNOME. Uh, there seems to be some really nice stuff going on there. Um, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a ton more features. Um, you know, they've updated a lot of their applications. There's going to be some more applications introduced. There's a new note-taking application. There's a weather app. Um, there's a bunch of really great new things. I feel as though, again, GNOME Shell doesn't feel so incomplete with uh, Revision 3.8. I feel like they're really, you know, making it fully featured. Love the web integration. I think that, you know, with as an operating system, really connecting it to the web and integrating web directly into the operating system is, is definitely the way that... Um, you know the way that technology should be going these days everything is web based um, not, and by web based I mean very rarely now are we really integrating with our systems without being online so I feel as though integrating the web right into the operating system is just brilliant I, I love how GNOME is doing that um, I've always been a GTK fan I uh, love my GTK apps everything seems to be looking better and better as well 
Um, so, you know, post your thoughts down in the comment section to this video. I'm really curious to what you guys think of, of the new GNOME. I will be doing a review on it. Um, once it's released officially in the Arch repositories, I will probably um, do a custom build of a GNOME um, desktop with maybe a net install of Manjaro. Um, so we can kind of see what uh, what everything looks like installed on on the metal, so to speak. Um, but yeah, leave your thoughts about the new GNOME 3.8 release. Let me know what you think. Uh, I do know that um, I've I've tested out GNOME Shell just 3.6 um, running on top of Manjaro. Performance was very good again, but I felt like the 3.6 rele release was a bit quirky. Um, there's a lot of things that I really didn't like about it some of which is addressed in GNOME 3.8 and I'm really interested to see what the classic mode uh, looks like as well so leave your comments below let me know what you think let me know what your favorite desktop environment of choice is currently I'm running XFCE you know what's yours are you a KDE fan LXCE fan Openbox fan so on let me know in the comment section below just thought I'd uh, do a quick video get your thoughts on on the new GNOME 3.8 release also you know, one of the things that I didn't realize as well, and, you know, my head may be uh, under a rock here, but. You know, I had no idea that um, Ubuntu was making a GNOME based uh, release officially supported. Um, not sure what that's all about. I have to do a little bit more research, but I found this on accident when I was kind of just browsing the web today. Um, they've got an, uh, an Ubuntu, Ubuntu GNOME um, uh, officially supported release. Well, you know, I'd be curious to find you know, if they could actually integrate GNOME 3.8 uh, into Ubuntu um, if it becomes more popular than Unity. You know, because honestly, when I first saw Unity hit the scene and then I saw what GNOME Shell was doing, I just said to myself, you know, new, initially Unity was so poorly implemented and lacked so many features, I felt like they should have just went with GNOME Shell and tried to customize it themselves. They kind of did that with GNOME 2 anyway. Um, they added some things to GNOME 2 and kind of made it their own. I feel like they, for the, the direction that they were going, they could have let the GNOME guys do most of the heavy lifting and just added in some customizations. But I'm really interested to see, you know, if the GNOME version uh, of Ubuntu gets more uh, traction than uh, their Unity version. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Hope you're doing well. And until next time, we will see you guys later.